Hey guys, one of our channel members was asking me, they have a nephew who's into model trains. They're asking, what do I recommend for a nine-year-old who is too old for Thomas, but too young for Lionel? Hi there, guys at Hoffman's. Somehow, I don't even think I was aware of Thomas as a kid, but man, did I love trains. All trains, all scales, real trains, model trains. If it was a train, I loved it. <laughs> I'm sure I made my parents ride this stupid train 50 times at Hoffman's. We would ride it, then I would stare at it going by, and then we'd get on it again. <laughs> I was probably a year or two old when I got my first battery set, but you can't really expand those. Electric trains is where it's at. And then in the basement of the Morris Museum of Science in New Jersey, they had this little dimly lit HO scale train set, which just blew me away. This was my most favorite thing in the world when I was a kid, so I had to have my own HO scale trains. I'm gonna say I was roughly four years old when I started getting into electric trains. I was the one that put the tracks together, put the train on the track, wired the transformer. Sometimes kids can actually be better at things like that than their parents. Setting up trains was not my dad's thing. <laughs> or my mom's. How come you don't have the engine first? This is a new thing? Yeah, it's a new thing. You have the engine first? All right, there, I fixed it. Do you like it? I love it. I was very young when my parents took me to Choo Choo Barn in Pennsylvania, and I remember being totally blown away when I was little. I probably would have been under five at the time, and I've wanted to go back ever since. And finally, in 2015, Mia and I did go back. I wanted to show Mia. We were in Pennsylvania, so I was like, I, I gotta go back to Choo Choo Barn. I never forgot the name. <laughs> I, I guess it made an impression on me. And I'm sure I enjoyed it every bit as much as I did back in the early 1980s. These are all Lionel trains here at Choo Choo Barn. I think Lionel really has a lot of good options and has always been really popular among people that collect trains. I can't really think of any specific reason why, I just never really got into Lionel. There was just something about G-Scale that really did it for me, and that's really what I had my heart set on. I guess it wasn't until I turned six that my parents thought I was old enough for G-Scale trains. Oh my god. That's a happy little Bruno. By age six, I already had a lot of experience with electric trains. I was more than ready for G-Scale. These are somewhat indestructible. They're made to run in the garden, in the sun, in the rain, in the snow. I know. I know. It's a little bit buried at the moment, but that is the exact same train set that I got in 1986. Runs like new. Here it is on that MMPR Toys Christmas layout we did back in California. Same engine. And speaking of California, these are the same trains that we had outside. They spent a couple of years out in the California heat and sun and occasionally rain and mud and all that, and they still run perfectly. Some of the engines that I bought used might be over 50 years old already. So I can certainly confirm that I was ready for these at a very young age. I never lost interest. I love them as much today as I did then, and they still work. So they, they really last a long time. To me, there's just something kind of magical about LGB. There are a handful of companies that make G-Scale. LGB is my favorite. The engine I happen to be running here, I think, is USA Trains. <laughs> Another thing I really love about G-Scale is the size. It's always so much fun how you can load them up with toys or presents. There are even some restaurants that use these trains to deliver food which is incredibly cool. I also do collect HO and N-Scale, which are great for Power Rangers, for the Megazords and the cities that I do on the other channel. Th those are usually HO or N-Scale that I'm using there, so different scales have their uses, but I just, I always love my G-Scale. I, I love my LGBs. If it seems like this could potentially be a lifelong hobby, maybe take them to a train store, let them look around at the different trains they've got. I can certainly keep talking about what I like, but you know, I'm not sure that LGB is as popular as Lionel might be. I don't want to just recommend what I like, and you know, different sizes have different pros and cons. But as far as age goes, I think they're old enough for any scale. And no matter what scale you go with, there are tons and tons of different sets to choose from. All different trains, uh, from all different time periods. If you live near a train and hobby store, I definitely start there. Sometimes you see a set, and it's just love at first sight. It, it was for me. There she is. Isn't she beautiful? Yes, th this was the engine that I, I saw that I just instantly fell in love with, and that's that's how I got started on LGB. I had to have that, and it was a very hard thing to find. I ended up getting it used when I turned 13. Since I was like four years old, I drooled over this. Ah, oh, look at how pretty she is. All right, I think I've talked enough about trains over here. Hopefully some of this was useful. In my case, I saw lots of different train layouts and lots of different places as a kid, 
And I just kind of knew when one just really sang to me. So, again, I would recommend going to a model train store, looking around and seeing, like, what says, I think you need that. And now it's time for Jerry Pizza. It's been hours since you've made pizza. <laughs> I guess. It's time for pizza. What kind of pizza? Uh, it's uh, barbecue pulled pork. Has everyone who's asked how to make Jerry's pizza already seen the how to make Jerry's pizza video that we did a couple years ago? Hey, Mooch. Yeah, still in here working on her thing. Oh, that was fast. Huh. Hey, here it is. Here it is. More barbecue pizza for us. Yes, that gets a big thumbs up. Oh, well, my plants are all growing. And it looks like a beautiful day in Pennsylvania if you point the camera this way. But then if you come over here, I don't know, it looks like it must be time for Stranger Things season four. Well, the rest of it. Here we go. We are still in here working on the never-ending model. Speaking of which, is ready for Stranger Things 4? But Miz doing some printing today, at least. While well, she works on other things. Suspicious activity? No. Oh. She was just asking for more pizza. We haven't had pizza since yesterday. Are we having pizza? I'm thinking tomorrow. Tomorrow? What are we gonna eat today? Well, that's pretty typical, Bruno. We watched this the other night, and then <laughs> before you know it, I'm on Amazon looking. I thought I needed that. The glow in the dark. This is one of the reasons why I deliberately stayed away from Common Rider, because I, I can't be trusted. Another box came. Can anyone guess what's in it? All right, I'm gonna wrap up here. Like I said, it's time for Stranger Things. Let me know in the comments if you have anything you wanted to add to model railroading, like what age is a good age to start with Lionel, or do you recommend a different set or scale? Do you have space for something that's really big? If you wanted to run things outside in the garden, then you definitely do want LGB or G-scale trains. If you wanted to have like a, a large layout in a small space, you might want N-scale or HO-scale. Lionel is, I'd say, pretty common as far as hobby shops go. G-scale might be a little bit harder to find at some stores. Ah oh man, speaking of stores, does anybody remember the train aisle in Toys R Us? I'm old enough to remember that. Oh, they had a whole aisle filled with trains from N scale to G scale. And they used to have like uh, demo sets that were hanging kind of from the ceiling. Does anybody remember that? There, there used to be like a glass case at the end of the aisle that had the LGBs, which I, I would drool over. Oh, I miss vintage Toys R Us. Oh, those were the days. KB Toys, too, used to have trains. All right, anyway. <laughs> there I go, missing Toys R Us from back in the day. I'm going to end here because it's time to go marathon our show. Uh, the answer to the burgers in the previous vlog, it was fake meat. Did anyone get it? Those were fake. I thought they were pretty convincing. All right, really going. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. I'll be back with more good videos. And good night.